Today I am answering the question of the ages. Should you join TikTok? Are you a parent? Are you over the age of like 16? Did you, like myself, think I'm too old for this? There's nothing for me on this. There's a bunch of people dancing. I don't want to shake my rump on an app that's possibly owned by the Russians. We all heard this when it first came out. TikTok was so up in the air, but it caught fire and nobody knew what to do with it. I wasn't on TikTok. I was very against my kids. I have two young kids. One is way too young to be on TikTok. One's five. And I was very against her face being on it once I had heard that the Russians owned it and it was possibly something that they were using for like face recognition, whatever. I completely ignored it. And then I got on just one day kind of like, okay, I am a social media influencer. I need to check this thing out. See, is it as bad as I think it is? I can't at least keep condemning this thing if I've never tried it. So I got on. And a lot of people were saying TikTok is all about what you make it. So if you get on and you fill your time. Now, this is what I was trying to explain to my wife, too, with TikTok. If you watch a video, if you watch the entire thing, TikTok is saying you like that, but you're not willing to engage with it for whatever reason. You might be embarrassed. You're not supposed to be looking at it, whatever. You're not engaging with it, but you like it. So therefore, you're going to still see it. Now, the things that you engage with and you like and you comment on, you're definitely going to see those things. So within 10 minutes of opening the app, creating it, and without even posting anything, I'm getting the pretty standard TikToks. I'm getting dances, I'm getting whatever, people trying to be funny, weird effects. I'm confused. I'm only solidifying at that point that I did not belong. Something pops up in my feed about like ADHD and something else like you might have ADHD and didn't know it if this I was like, oh, that's pretty neat so I liked it and I followed the person it's my first like first follow right after that another ADHD video pops up this time it's a doctor giving real advice like hey you might for real have it and be undiagnosed so I was like damn like follow swipe for three hours I go down this mental health rabbit hole of TikTok, just swiping and learning, learning about myself, legitimately feeling like I just left a therapy session. Like, so over two weeks, I start posting on this app and I just post like I do, you know, sometimes it's funny. I, I'm not really in a niche. I, I dance on there sometimes. I'll post just clips of my YouTube videos. And then sometimes I'll just put up like ADHD problems or bipolar di um, disorder problems, PTSD problems. And I'll just put them out there and go, hey, this is what I struggle with. And it's amazing how many real people connect and interact. It, it's legitimately like Instagram used to be back when there was just the timeline algorithm. If you posted at a certain time and someone got on, they saw it. TikTok doesn't play. Like, and it, I'd never really got any answers to the whole Russian thing. But they don't play. If you post something and they think that there's half a chance that somebody might be interested in that post, they show it to them. And there's so many users on that platform and all they're doing all day long is just searching for those dopamine hits. Guys, TikTok, yes, you should be on it. If you are a business owner, if you're a social media influencer, you should be on it. If you are a child under the age of like 16, you should be heavily monitored if you're on it. Heavily monitored. Because you could see anything on there. I mean, there's cannabis TikTok, there's mental health TikTok, there's crazy people on there that are talking about killing themselves. And um, I saw a video of a guy like trying to create some army right before the whole Capitol um, building thing happened. And it's like, guys, TikTok is a completely wild, wild west of social media. It's kind of, it's still considered brand new to all of us. It's mainly used by the demographics of younger people, but parents, adults, people with genuine interests and hobbies are getting on there and they are creating their niches. This is why I think you need to be on it. I'm early on mental health TikTok. I'm early on ADHD TikTok, which is great for me because everything I post gets shown to everybody who's looking for it. And I, I'm, over, like, I'm almost at 2000 followers and I've only been on it for like a week. I post three times a day, one funny, one mental health, and then one like just trying to give some kind of value. Or if I'm not, if I gave value in the mental health one, I'll just post a clip of my most up to date video, which I clearly can't post this one on TikTok because it's about it. 
So yes, to answer the question in five minutes, you should be on TikTok going into 2021 uh, after January. It's a great app. The hashtags are very simple, right? Don't use hashtags if they don't apply. If you put a hashtag in TikTok that doesn't apply to what's going on in the video, they will not know where to send that. Instagram is kind of the same way, but Instagram has like how much the hashtags actually affect your post and then how much money do they think you need to give them before people will actually see it. TikTok's not doing that, at least not yet. I suspect it'll be like anything else. Once you hit a certain follower level or whatever, your engagement will take a serious and then you'll have to start paying to get that back. But yes, you need to be on TikTok in 2021. Download it today. Start uploading immediately. It's not going to be perfect, just like everything else. If you're going to dance, it's going to look silly in the beginning, but do it. People will connect to it just like anything else. It's a journey. People want to see where you started. Boom. There you go. Love you guys. Gangster love. We're out.